Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth here. So I wanted to do this quick video in regards to trusting that everything is in its divine order and timing. 2020 is really depressing for a lot of people. I've even spoken with some people from kind of this Christian meetup group that I used to go to quite frequently before coronavirus. Um, and touching base with some of them, you know, they're, they're just saying how depressing life is. Obviously being inside here in the West Coast, um, as you can tell by my voice, I'm losing it again. Um, it's really difficult here because the air quality is not that good. It's probably not as bad as Oregon and California. But, you know, it's just being stuck inside. There's job loss. There's been, you know, riots and looting and oppression from different groups. And there's just been so much going on this year that it, it's just, we're like riding a wave where things are stable and then it's chaotic and then it's stable and then it's chaotic. So <clears throat> one thing that regardless of where your spiritual beliefs lie, whether you're Christian or kind of more into the healing arts, the one thing that you have to know and understand is that you have to have trust that everything is happening in its divine order and it's and in its divine timing. That's the one thing I do think that is very positive to get a control of your emotional intelligence, your emotional behavior and emotional resilience through understanding the astrological ages is that when you understand these certain things, um, you know that humanity and the general collective environment will be going through highs and lows. Um, I maybe have to do a separate video on this, but there is a theory in Vedic astrology that the planet Earth is kind of in the opposite direction of Cirrus. And so <clears throat> when Cirrus and the planet were furthest away from each other, that's when we enter the Dark Ages, the Middle Ages, specifically during kind of 0 AD to 2000, where a lot of killing and, and harm and raiding and plummeting of, of nations happened. And that's because we were so disconnected from this planet that we were moving away further from kind of that source and God. It was away from the Golden Age, the Golden Age being that area of enlightenment. So now that we've kind of exited out of... Uh, the this quote-unquote dark age, we are now entering toward the golden age again. But however, you kind of have to go through a bronze age, which the bronze era represents a lot of war and fighting. And this kind of happened a lot again, um, you know, pre-0 uh, AD in the BC era, um, you know, with the Romans and all of those old, you know, the Egyptians, all those old ancient uh, colonies over there that had a lot of war. So in some sense, you have to trust that regardless of what happens collectively, we can um, know that this might be part of humanity's fate. And that helps you detach from this emotional attachment that you have to other people. One of the biggest lessons that I've had throughout my development of spirituality because I quote unquote understood and knew the truth was that I, f I was so attached to other people wanting to see things from my either belief system or my point of view or I just wanted them to, I cared so much I wanted them to know because I saw them stuck in this <clears throat> black hole of materialism or consumerism or acting like an adult child, you know, being like a 33 year old adult with an emotional intelligence of an 11 year old. And at some point, you know, people don't like being told what to do. That's why there's so much rebellion against masks and the government guidelines because people don't want to be told what to do. Um, and that's the same thing in spirituality. People rebelled from religion because they were constantly shoved a book or whatever in their face and told what to do and how to behave. And I think people are rebelled, have rebelled against that. And we've, I've seen that a lot out here in Seattle where it's like, oh, I grew up in, um, I don't know, let's just say South Carolina or Kentucky. And my father was a hardcore Baptist person. And, and this did happen at the bank. I heard this person talking about this um, to the bank teller. And, you know, the person had probably like 30 piercings and she was tattooed kind of literally from the neck down to her calves. Like her whole body was tattooed. 
and she was saying like, oh, I did this out of rebellion um, against, you know, being brought up as this conservative Christian. So whatever happens where people are falling off the bandwagon, they're losing consciousness, but there's also another side of the story where people are gaining consciousness. And in this kind of age of deception where you don't really know what is true or what is not, the one thing that you can know that is true is that everything is under divide guidance and order. Christians, some Christians I know, every Christian is different. Some Christians I know do believe that Satan can, uh, Satan dark forces, whatever word you want to use, can be let out to do its thing, but Satan is still under the control of God. So although darkness can gain speed and gain force, darkness always fails. Let's take World War II. That's probably the most recent genocide that we've experienced um, in, especially if you've been affected by it, uh, in, in America, in terms of your family served, or maybe, you know, my family immigrated, they survived World War II and immigrated to the U.S. So in that sense, you do know that although they ruled for those three or four or five years, <clears throat> it failed. That establishment or that darkness always failed. The Roman Empire was the largest thing that has ever ruled this planet, and as intelligent and as wealthy as they were, they failed. And that is the one thing that we have to understand, that regardless of where humanity happens at this point, um, everything is still under God's control. Now, I do think that we have more awareness or consciousness built up today that we can have the choices to get caught up in the masses or we can pull ourselves away, detach ourselves from our biases, start to hear each other out, and understand where people are coming from, from various perspectives, whether it's their political perspective or belief perspective. I used to be the biggest Christian basher on this planet. And then, you know, throughout my evolution of growth, you know, now I do believe in Christianity and Jesus and believing he was the ultimate healer on this planet. And now that um, I'm starting to do a little research, you kind of see how much dirty money is in the world of spirituality, which this will be a separate video the Deepak Chopra Center has money that was funded through Jeffrey Epstein, through the Gratitude Inc. Uh, fund or nonprofit, whatever that is. So I, I'd have to relook at the, the article and the information that has that. But you kind of wonder how much information is being spewed out through these spiritual realms, especially with somebody famous like having Oprah being the main person on the scene, you know, promoting X, Y, and Z. I think we are entering a realm of some form of individuality to individually connect to God and source and, and to have your own personal relationship and experience with God that doesn't necessarily have to come from an establishment like going to a Catholic church or something like that. So I do think we are entering a new dimension or era in that realm. But with regards of what everything is happening, it is all still under God's control, even if darkness takes the lead for a little bit of time. And it's really horrible and sad. And <clears throat> I don't know why these things happen because it doesn't make sense logically to the brain. But what you can know is a lot of this is a damn wake-up call. It is a wake-up call on so many levels. And people can ignore it and people can't. The television, social media, all of this stuff has been a distraction toward your personal growth and spiritual development. So the more you can spend less time with this crap that's socially engineered and spend more time living in the real world and not in virtual reality, that's where things start to evolve better. You get more connected to nature, more connected to God, and you have trust to have him, some believe it's a him and a her, um, to guide you into the right direction. So these are just some thoughts that I had on this topic that no matter where we're going, just know that life is a battle of a polarity of good and evil, and it's always been like that. I think the spiritual community these days always talks about abundance and uh, living a decent, good life on this planet. So it's always about the positive, but it doesn't really look at the dark. Now, a lot of that is on the rise because people are saying, look at your shadow side and things, but just know that whatever is happening, it's all under divine um, guidance, unfortunately. And it's horrible. Like, I don't want to, you know, these beautiful trees in California, 
have been burnt. I don't, I don't know why. Why is it happening? I talked about this in the last video. But there is just so much sinful nature that happens in California that you're like, what the fuck is happening type of thing. So I don't know. Maybe it's for California to wake up, although they think they're enlightened and living this really cool progressive lifestyle when a lot of it is, you know, you look at the book Brotopia, um, talk about Silicon Valley with their drugs and their hedonism and San Francisco has kind of always been like that. So um, it's not exactly the most moral place. And uh, just know that these external acts of God are out of your control, but what you can control are your own actions, thoughts, and behaviors. And that's very important because that's part of the yoga and yamas and the niyamas and that brings you more awareness especially to how we react online because online is like the social media seeing people's opinions it's just like fireworks going off for your ego and your brain if you have any comments please share them below i hope you are doing well in life and on your path of spiritual growth and personal growth thank you for liking sharing and subscribing and i hope to see you next time bye